A lot of young people that I know, one of whom is my middle son, decided <laughs> to vote for Labour and for Jeremy Corbyn. He lectured me on missing the Corbyn surge. And when I pressed him, he said, he's going to take care of the students, Dad. He's going to uh, get rid of all tuition fees and he's going to pay off all the debts. Uh, now it turns out that was a load of old baloney. You're not going to get rid of any of the debts, are you? Or you're going to try and deal with it in a mealy-mouthed way, which suggests you haven't really thought this through. Well, Piers, we've never been mealy-mouthed about it. We said from day one that we would end tuition fees, that we would make our national education service free at the point of need. Uh, Piers has acknowledged that you've said that you would abolish tuition fees, but the point is not about tuition fees from now on in. It's about the debt that students have already accrued. And the point that is being made is that students thought you would clear their debt because Jeremy Corbyn told a student, you know, largely student publication, the NME, before the election, I will deal with it. And to a lot of people who voted for you, that might have sounded like a promise, was it? Susanna, you know that, that there wasn't a promise on that. And I've been clear, I understand student debt versus student fees, and many students do. I think it's disingenuous to say that students didn't understand that. They do understand that. When and you say, when you say you're you going to deal with something, what Susanna, can are, I, we, can I are we now can, going can I... to assume that I will deal with it means you won't deal with it? Susanna, if you read out the statement, the actual transcript of what Jeremy Corbyn said, you're picking out one particular word. He said that he would look at the loan repayments over a longer period. He would look at other ways of trying to look at that debt. But he didn't make any promises on okay. student well, debt. Well, let, uh, let me ask you, in terms of the ambition, we are nearly at £100 billion worth of student loan debt. Mm. Can you give me a rough guide to how much of that you, the Labour Party, would like to reduce it by? Well, Piers, let's be clear, 30% of it is never repaid. It's just, you know, stays with uh, young people for a long time. But we were clear on what we said. And at the time, Piers, nobody was talking about this because it wasn't an issue, because oh, but... people understood what we meant by our student fees and student debt. The reason people are talking about it now is the Conservatives do not want parents and students to know that they are increasing tuition fees and ripping them off on no, the loan I think repayments. We all understand. And the Tories yeah, we all can do something that. about that today. But that wasn't the question I asked you. I just asked you how much of the near 100 million, I think it's 76 billion pounds of student loan debt now, how much of that in your ambitious plan, let's call it nothing more than that, do you hope to we reduce that by? We didn't have a plan. Pierce, you... You don't have you're making an assumption and trying to leave me. To... We didn't have any commitment on the manifesto to you deal with student now? debt. You have I've a plan made now? that absolutely clear. We said from we said from day one that we would abolish tuition fees. We put nine point yeah. five billion We're to do that and bring tuition back maintenance fees. grants, which is one point seven billion. Yeah. No, but Piers, this is what I'm explaining to you. No, you're but asking I'm asking me about you to. I'm, I'm only asking they, a simple question. They were, you keep answering they, they my they question with an they were answer. Not our commitments. Yeah, but you keep answering a completely different question. I'm only asking you how much of the seventy-six billion. I've answered the question. Let me we try one not, more time. We did not commit. Right to Piers, avoid. We did not commit let no, me be that's clear not the question angela we did not commit to we did not commit to removing all of I the know that. debt i'm we not did saying not you did commit to that it was not in our manifesto so you can ask me questions about it but that's not what we committed I'm to i'm actually asking I'm on your you program what you... today i've given you an I've I'm given actually you an asking answer, you. Let me and I want to talk let me about try. those parents. Let me try those parents one. that let are me watching try your one. program today angela, stop that talking. are concerned about child care angela well, you're not listening to me, Piers. You Angela, don't listen. Let me tell you it's how this works. There's I many ask parents a question. there that want to talk I about childcare. I ask a question. Care. You answer the question. It's not a difficult dynamic. You've done this many I times. I answered it, Piers. Let me try one more it. time. I answered your you question, You have said. Piers. You yourself okay, have go said. Go again. Go again. Let's You again. yourself have said it is now an ambition of the Labour Party. Your words, not mine, and endorsed by. Jeremy Corbyn and John McDonald's, everyone's agreed it's now the ambition is to deal with the student loan debt, which is currently £76 billion. I'm simply asking you, as part of your ambition, how much of that debt do you intend to try ambitiously to pay off? 
taxpayers, we said it was not a manifesto pledge for us to look at student debt. I've been clear that Jeremy Corbyn said that he would, you know, if, if he could and the money was there, he would look at ways to do that. I've made it clear there's two things that we could do immediately. Look at the repayment threshold and look at the percentage rate of loan, which will help students today, including those with student debt. There are things that we can do immediately. Anything else, we will not be setting out plans to deal with student debt unless we can afford it and we make that promise. We never made a promise on that. It's interesting because the government have no plan and they have no design for the country on how they're going to deal with the issue. They created a hundred billion pound debt but Angela, and they I doubled agree, the Angela, national I agree debt with you. of this country. Angela. And it's interesting because you know there's, there's never a time where you challenge the government no, on that Angela, and the fact that they've just increased the fees and the baloney. debt again. We challenge them all the time and here's my point Angela. I agree with you about tuition fees. I have savaged Nick Clegg on this programme many times about tuition fees. I totally, 100% agree with you. The Tories have done a terrible job in conjunction with Liberal Democrats in racking up these tuition fees. I've got three kids at school and universities and colleges racking up huge fees. I agree with you. But I also want to know, if I'm going to vote Labour at a forthcoming election, what are you going to do to actually get that money down? And I'm not hearing good answers.